Hi, my name's Jamie from Beacon Consultant Services. Thanks for tuning in to our fifth video on the A to Z of GDPR. Today we're going to be focusing on E for erasure, and more specifically the right to erasure, which is also known as the right to be forgotten. Now there are numerous rights that people can invoke under GDPR, and we'll cover those when we get to I for individual rights, but for the purposes of this video we're just going to focus on erasure. Now there are certain circumstances where someone can invoke their right to erasure and it would need to be upheld, certain circumstances where they invoke their right to erasure and it wouldn't need to be upheld. So we'll look at those in a bit more detail now. So firstly, the circumstances where a right is invoked and you'd need to uphold it. So if the processing is no longer necessary that you're carrying out, which I think is a really important point because in certain circumstances, or maybe in a lot of circumstances, the processing that you're doing is, is necessary. So if if a customer has a contract with you because you're providing them with a service and you need to process that personal data in order to continue to provide that service, then that processing would be necessary. If an individual removes their consent and you're relying on that as a legal basis, if they object to processing and you're relying on uh, legitimate interest as your legal basis, if the processing is unlawful, so if you don't have a legal basis to be processing that personal data, if they have objected to marketing, or if the data is being processed to offer information services to a child. So those are the circumstances in which it would need to be upheld if someone invoked their right to erasure. But as I said, there's circumstances as well where it wouldn't need to be upheld um, and it could be rejected if someone invoked their right to erasure. And this is if it's necessary to exercise the right of freedom of expression and information, if you're legally obligated to process that data, if it's in the public interest to process that data, if the processing is for archiving in public interest, scientific research or statistical purposes and it's unlikely you'd be able to erase that data or to defend against legal claims. So it really is a bit of an assessment that needs to take place when someone invokes their right to erasure. It's not quite as straightforward as the right has been invoked, therefore it needs to be upheld. So I hope that helps to, uh, to clear things up. And remember you have one calendar month to deal with these requests as you do with any of the other rights that are invoked. So that's E for Erasure. Join us for our next video, which will be on F for Fines. Thank you.